Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're doing something a little different. I found this astronaut training center on the marketplace. So I'm going to try this out with you guys. <laughs> so let's get right into it. Okay, um, I mean, it's a very nice town. I'm confused. Oh wait, hello my name is Madison, welcome to the Astronaut Training Center. That wasn't as epic as I imagined, wait for a second. I'll be your astronaut trainer. Okay, hello Madison. I will teach you everything you need to know about astronauts and space. In this facility, we have a lot of experiments you can do and learn about physics, astronomy, and engineering. We will also have diving lessons and most exciting, a real Mars rover. It's going to be awesome. I'm so excited. Enter the space center. Which, which one is the space center? These all look like houses. I'm confused. Oh wait, that that looks like a space center. Okay. Whoa. That's a big building. Okay, whoever built this, they are really good. <laughs> oh wait, she's talking. Astronauts get food that looks really disgusting but is supposed to taste good. Okay. This is really neat. Okay. Ah, uh, you're here. Behind each door there are experiments set up. You can do whichever you want. There is a final exam you can take in the main room to the right. You can test your knowledge there. I will be giving you information and tips throughout this experience, so here's the first one. Red buttons make stuff happen. People often say reach for the stars, and here we can do that. Okay. Behind doors, okay. So I'm guessing this way. That's cool up there. I don't know what that is. Whoa. This is really neat. It's over here. Out of order. Out of order. That is a lot of pressure plates. Nothing? So I guess they're supposed to be elevators. That's interesting. Okay, there's nothing over here. So what if I go- who is this? They just follow me. Okay. This is neat over here. Okay, I, I should probably figure out where I'm supposed to be going at this point. That's, oh, that's water, okay. What is this? That's the quiz. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot, okay. Cool, I found stuff. This is the rover. Some rovers use nuclear power as energy. We don't do that here. Okay, I found a red button. This is the control room. Whoa. Oh, 
Oh wait, I'm making it move. That's awesome. Look at it, it's moving. That's so cool. That's super awesome. Ooh, pretty particles. I don't know what that is though. Okay, I, I'm gonna go hit the button and see what happens. You can use the navigation panel to drive the rover to the light pads. This will train your robot navigation skills. Oh wait, I'm supposed to tr drive it to the... Oh, to the little yellow particles. Okay. That makes sense. So why don't you come forward, robot? This is really hard. Okay, now come back. Why are you an idiot robot? Okay, I got it to the little thingy. Nothing happened. I guess that's all I'm supposed to do. It's kind of like a... Okay. I guess that makes sense. Oh wait, unless I'm supposed to drive it... No, that's where it came from. I'm gonna guess nothing's supposed to happen when you do that. So I'm gonna go down here to the next one. This one is... Low Gravity Simulation. A walk on the moon is nothing like a walk on Earth. This has a bunch of, oh wait, oh wait. Oh, it makes you jump really high, okay. It's like parkour, which I'm horrible at, so. <laughs> this might take a second. Is there anything even at the top of this? I don't know, we're gonna find out if I can ever get there.
Okay, so I've been around most of this. And I'm not seeing... Oh, wait, there's a red... Wait, no, that's not going to do anything, actually, is it? No. These buttons don't do anything. Okay. Then, yeah, there's nothing really in here. It's just a bunch of parkour. Ooh, there's a door. What's the door do? Let's go up the stairs. Ooh, wait, there's buttons. I don't think it's doing anything, though. Probably just for show. Okay, well this was a neat little area. I'm gonna have, head over to the next one and see what's over there. Okay, this one is Centrifuge. I'm guessing I'm saying that right. A rotating simulation is called a centrifuge. Okay. Button. In this room, you can train to not get sick upon fast rotations. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> Let's have a look around first. Oh, wait, there's a big box. Okay. Ooh. I don't understand what this room is. Maybe astronaut outfits are what the banners are supposed to be. That's that's my guess. I don't really know. Okay. Okay, let's go in here and see if anything happens. Wait, what happened? Oh, oh, it is, it's giving you nausea. Oh, oh, that's horrible. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm not doing this more than once. <laughs> Why? Why would anyone want to do this? Yes, opening door. Let me out. That was horrible. Okay. Uh, what's this thing? Wait, what happened if I hit the button? Okay, that's cool. That's so cool. It's like a chair thingy. Oh wait, is there anything underneath it? No. I don't understand why that flaps up, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't understand what half of this stuff is. Oh wait, that holds it while it's been- oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay. All right, next room. Ooh, wait, what's up here? More cool decoration stuff. Okay, next room. Okay, my next room is scuba diving. Gravity feels less strong underwater. Yep. Oh, there's a big pool. What happens if I hit that button? Nothing. Okay. Oh, wait. Can be placed on block of gold. I don't understand. Oh, wait. This is like a challenge, isn't it? Uh, I guess this gives you water breathing. I'm just gonna jump in. Oh wait, I can't see anything. Oh wait, there's big structures. Oh, 
Lock of gold. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I probably should have pressed the red button first, to be fair. Like, that probably would have been a good idea. I'm confused though. Why is this underwater? Like, why, why would anybody have this big contraption? in the middle of the sea. Whoa. There's another one. Cool. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just swimming around trying to find blocks of gold. Uh, what's this direction? Oh, that's one I've already done. Okay. Well, that's this direction. Now you see successfully finished this training session. Okay, I'm gonna go hit the red button now just so I know what it was I was doing. Because I don't understand. <laughs> and out of the water. Okay, red button. You have to place redstone blocks underwater. Oh, they're generators. Generators for what? I don't know what the generators are for. Okay. Let's go look at the other side of this thing, because I see stuff. And I want to know what's inside of it. If I can climb stairs. Okay, so this is like bleachers. Where you can watch people. And what's over here? More control panel decoration stuff? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Oh wait. Pretty forest. Nice and sunny outside. Okay, let's go to the next room. Okay, next room is engineering. So, cute little lobby area. Engineering 1? Wait, there's multiple levels? There is no BUT gate. I don't know what that means. Engineering room should teach you about some basic and advanced redstone principles. Try to understand how these work or just flick some levers and see what happens. Yeah, I'm probably going to be the second one. I'm confu confused. What am I just supposed to turn them all off? I mean, if you flick the lever, it goes off. Like, that's... Okay. I think I understand this, or I would like to think that I do. This lever doesn't do anything, though. Sitting in this chair and telling students what they are doing wrong is one of the greatest pleasures in life. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> uh, is there an engineering 2 or is the rest of this just decoration? Like, that said engineering 1. And this is a classroom. Ooh, there's a lever back here. I don't know what it does, but I'm going to flick it. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, they're like trap doors. Okay. I don't know why there's a lever there, but whatever. Let's go. Oh, wait. The first woman in space was the Russian Valentina Tereshkova. Tereshkova? Going with it. I probably pronounced that wrong. Uh, that's engineering one. I've already been there. Ooh, arrows. Engineering two. Locked repeaters are a very unknown mechanic. Oh, I'm guessing that's the locked repeater. I don't know what that means. What, am I just still flicking levers to see what happens? 
Nothing? No? If both of them are off. Ha! So both of them have to be off. Otherwise the repeater becomes locked. Wait, I'm confused. It didn't go off. So it doesn't matter after you unlock it or what? I was trying to make it. No, okay. Oh wait, this lever. Okay, and then... But if it's locked and you do that, it doesn't do anything. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Ooh, what's this one? I mean, I'm guessing this one powers that, but this one has to be off to unlock it first. I mean, yeah, basic principle there. And this has one lever. Whoa, it did it all at once. Okay, that's kind of neat. Alright. Okay, uh, what's behind these doors? Huh. Okay. Nothing interesting. Let's see if I can find Engineering 3. I'm guessing it's up here? Yeah, Engineering 3. Okay, that's... That's neat, alright. Um... Ha! Engineering 3. Using comparators, you can turn off a signal with a stronger signal. Okay. That does nothing. That does nothing. And that does something. Okay. Hmm. Still confused here. Oh, okay. Oh, I get it, because that puts off. Alright. Okay, that makes sense. I don't think I need to go through all three of these. Let's go find the next door, if I can find my way out. What is- oh, okay, yeah. Let's go find our way out. Okay, I believe this is the last one before the quiz, and this is Astronomy Physics. What's up here? I don't know what any of that means. Ooh, painting. Hidden secrets? No. Darn. Free falling. Without air drag, everything falls at the same speed according to Newton's gravitational law. You can test it by placing test blocks at the top of this tower and press a button to make them fall. You can also start this remotely from the ground floor. Everything falls with the same velocity. Wait, where do I get test blocks? Wait, what's back here? Up and activate. Wait, but I don't have test blocks. I'm confused. You mentioned test blocks. Wait, is this an elevator? Wait, 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 wait. They have an elevator and a staircase. I'm confused. Why do I need both? And why is there a hole in the building? Who designed this? <laughs> Actually, no, I shouldn't say that. This is awesome, but... I feel like somebody forgot to put glass in or something, like, not that I can jump through it, but it looks a little odd that there's holes in the building. But I mean, other than that, like, this is awesome. Oh wait, test blocks. So it's all concrete pattern sand, so I'm just going to take the green ones and press this button. Oh. Wait. Okay. Pressing button. Wait. 
What happens if I jump down? Will I die? I'm gonna try it. We. Oh wait, it's slime. Okay, cool. I didn't die. Awesome. Okay. How do I go? Oh wait, it teleports you. That just. There should be a teleportation down button though. Not just jumping down this hole and hoping you don't die. Because I did not know there was slime down here the first time. And what's that do? Oh, I think... Okay. I think you're supposed to put the blocks down and then jump down. And then you're supposed to hit this button to watch it fall. Yeah, okay. That's neat. Alright. Free falling complete. I'm not going back up the stairs. Uh, oh wait, it clears your inventory. That's cool, okay. Physics. Okay. On this floor you can try out different physics experiments. Light speed. Press the buttons and see how light has a different speed when passing through the glass. This property is called the refractive index and is different for every material. Wait, I thought it... Oh, wait. Oh, that's cool! Okay. So it's... It's slower when it goes... What's this button do? Light travels at... I'm not reading that number. Meters per second. <laughs> yes, that is very fast. What's this button do? Whoa. Wait, is that the same as going through this one? It's like a slow motion video. <laughs> Until it gets out the box. Then it's really not, but... That's cool. Okay. The mechanics in this game is awesome. The first successful moon mission was called Apollo 11. C capacitator? No, that's not right. Capacitor. Okay. A capacitor creates a force field that affects a charged object inside it, the electrical field. By adjusting the capacitor's strength, you can influence positive and negative charges in different ways. You can get these by pressing the buttons at the machine. What machine? Oh, charge modifier. I don't know what I'm doing. The lights show the strength of the capacitor. Whoa! I'm confused. Why is it doing that? Stop, stop, little block. I don't understand this one, but okay. Cool though. I just don't think I'm smart enough to understand this. Oh wait, there's a back to this. I don't think I'm supposed to be back here. I could break something. Actually, no I can't. I think I'm in adventure mode, but still. I feel like I'm not supposed to be back there. <laughs> Seems like a maintenance only area. <laughs> Short circuit. Short circuit occur when you connect two poles of a battery directly. It is very dangerous as a lot of power passes through the cables, becoming very hot, like causing fires hot. Change the redstone lines that the current must flow through the repeaters and test your circuit by flipping the lever. Wait, what? Ah, uh, why did it explode? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, wait. Wait. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Change the redstone lines that the current must flow through the repeaters and test your circuit by flipping the lever. Okay. Cool. I mean, that wasn't horrible. Um, um. Oh, wait. 
This is not necessary. I mean, you could put as much extra redstone dust as you want, but it's not necessary. Like, nobody told you to do that. Is that it? Batteries break in a short circuit. That makes sense. Wait, why are there two shulker boxes? Who would need that much redstone? I mean, alright, I shouldn't say that. Okay. Moving on. Heat conductivity. Various materials can conduct... Okay, wait a second. Can we just take a minute to appreciate the fire? Like, that's awesome. It's moving and it looks cool. Sorry, okay. Back to reading the text. Various materials can conduct heat differently well. This is caused by their molecular structure. Try changing the materials and see which combinations can conduct heat well and which cannot. Wait, how do I do that? There's got to be a button somewhere, right? There's a button. That's a gold block. Usually those mean something. <laughs> and that's diamond. Wait. Terracotta and diamonds are okay heat conductors. Oh, wait. Oh. Hello. Oh, wait. That breaks the... Okay. Wait, what? I still don't understand what I'm doing. Okay, so the terracotta only goes up two. But if I put, wait, what can this be placed on? Stone brick. Then why can't I put anything there? This can break all this stuff. But I'm confused because I don't see any stone bricks. Maybe I'm in the wrong spot. Am I supposed to be over here? Mm, that's not it. What am I looking at? Confused. Where's this stone brick I'm supposed to be putting this on? Also, there's a texture pack on this, so I don't even know if I would recognize stone brick if I saw it. Oh wait, is this stone brick? No, those are stairs. That's not stone brick. That's not stone brick. Ha! Ah, stone brick. Figured it out. Okay. So if I do that, it only does two. If I do... What if I do two iron? And three iron? Ooh, okay. So iron conducts very well. And I'm sorry I broke all those blocks. I can't put them back, though. <laughs> okay, let me put this back in this chest. Because I don't want it. Okay. Let's go this way. What's down here? Electric conductivity. Because some materials have electrons that can move freely, some materials can pass on electricity, and some are so-called insulators. In this room, you can test for this property by placing the materials in the test spots and hit the test button. Okay, that's a power button. Okay, I'm just gonna do emerald because I wanna do one and just see what I'm doing. Can we play some block of quartz? Okay, hit power. Nothing happened. Okay, so I guess emerald is a bad conductor. <laughs> Okay, uh, technically cauldrons are made of metal though, right? I don't know if that means anything, but, oh, hey, cool, I did something, it works. Okay, I made one work, I'm done with this. I think I'm gonna go take the quiz and see how much of this I actually retained.
Okay, it's quiz time. How much of this can I pass? Physics exam. Wait, what happens if I press the right button? These rooms you can test your knowledge. Click on the chairs to start the quiz. Whoa, okay, this is cool. Use red for false and green for true. Is the speed of light in a vacuum always the same? No, because you would... Oh. I would think you would have different uh, materials in the vacuum. Is iron a good electric conductor? Maybe. Ha! Could you use stone for an electric cable? No. Is a rotating simulation called an... No. <laughs> Is glass a good? I wouldn't think so. Are you able to get used to fast rotations? Yeah. Do you need resistance for a circuit to work properly? Probably, because you'd have to regulate the stuff, right? Yeah. Does an electric circuit have to consist of only cables? No. Do batteries break in a short circuit? Yes. I remember this from the room. <laughs> Does light slow down when passing through glass? Yes. Hey, I passed my physics exam. <laughs> started over. Okay. I was confused for a second. Okay. Physics exam has been passed. Next exam is down here, I guess. Astronomy exam. Okay. Let's go sit in this chair. Does light exist out of multiple colors? I don't understand the question. I'm going to go with yes. It was true. Do big things seem small from a big distance? Yes. Are stars smaller than the sun? Okay. Um, I feel like not always, but for the purpose of this, I'm going to say true. Oh, see? Go with your instinct, people. I was wrong because I went with the other one. <laughs> Do magnets always have one pole? No. Is there a lower pressure in space than on Earth? Yes. Is stone affected by low pressure? I don't think so. Can some things be destroyed under low pressure? Yeah. Do magnets always have to be the same shape? No. Do big things look similarly big from a large distance? N no. We went through this already. Are lasers unable to cook meat? No. I feel like they would be able to do that. Cool. I passed. That's interesting that the questions change. Okay. So I've passed my astronomy exam. Now we're on to the engineering exam. Let's see if I can pass this one too. So far I've got two out of three. Is there something called a butt gate? Yeah. No. Wait, what? Maybe there's an extra T. I don't know. Yeah, I think there was. Is there a subtracted mode? A sub subtracted mode to comparators. Pretty sure it was subdued, so I'm going with false. No, okay. Are robots commonly used in astronomic research? Yeah. Is the underwater practice a perfect replication of practice in space? I feel like nothing could be perfect. 
Does every astronaut need to be able to handle a Mars rover? I'm gonna go with yes. No, I was wrong. Okay. Are you able to turn off a signal with a stronger signal? Yes. Is everyone able to handle a robot in space? I feel like you just asked me the same question. Can you use redstone torches to invert redstone signals? I think so. Do astronauts use pools for training? Probably. Do astronauts have to be a good scuba divers? I read that wrong. Uh, but maybe. No, I was wrong. I failed astronomy. <laughs> okay. Uh, so two out of three. Not bad. Uh, I failed astronomy, but I did pass the other two. So I'm happy with that. <laughs> I want to go explore inside this weird thing. Can I get inside of it? I don't know if I can. I want to try. Is there a way inside the rocket? I don't think so. Sometimes people tell me that I talk. Okay. I'm sure other people get that too. I don't think there's a way inside the spaceship, which kind of sucks. But there was a rocket outside that I saw. So I'm going to go over to that and see if that one works. Yeah, see this. Is there a door into this or a way up? Maybe? No? You're going to tell me no again, aren't you? Darn it. Okay, so no working rockets, but I mean it is Minecraft. You can only expect so much. Overall, this is really cool though, and whoever built this did a fantastic job. Uh, I want to go look inside some of these houses and see if there's more space facts or something. Ooh, is that a street sign? Anywhere? Anywhere and nowhere. Okay. I don't understand, but okay. Uh, I'm gonna hop over this fence. I don't understand the bait. What, did these people die? Is there no woody living here? What happens if I hit the button? Nothing happens. Okay. Uh, yep. You said that already. I mean, it's a neat house. Does anybody live in it? <laughs> like, what's the point of having a house if nobody lives here? <laughs> I'm confused. I think this is supposed to be a bed. The fact that they used snow for pillows was really smart. <laughs> I mean, this is like half creepy science lab vibe and half really awesome house. It's a really weird window spot, but okay. I'm just confused. I guess nobody lives in these houses. Ooh, nice kitchen though. Can I move into these houses? <laughs> like. This is a better house than I could ever build. <laughs> I love the weird tree out front. Okay, so I think on that note, guys, I am going to say goodbye. Thank you for joining me on this space journey that didn't go to space. It's a little weird, but I guess it makes sense. It did say training center. So thank you. If you would like to see more of this, leave a like and I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.